Hi, hello, you're welcome again to our WASI Integrated Science Past Questions Review. Uh, today we shall look at, uh, you know, the last time we did the WASI 2006, the section A, from question 1 to 20. Today we would uh, continue from 21 to 40. Yeah, hello, so let's begin. You know, so if you have not yet subscribed yet, so make sure you do well to, uh, to subscribe. So let's start. Question 21. Overindulgence in the use of mobile phones could lead to the answer is irradiation of body tissues. Meaning you are going to expose yourself to, uh, to radiations, a lot of radiations. You know, it's been advised not for us to have our phones very close to our bodies because, you know, our phones releases to electromagnetic radiations. Question 22. Which of the following modes of heat transfer does not require a medium? The answer is radiation. You know, radiation is a mode of heat transfer which would occur in a vacuum. A vacuum is an empty space. So, uh, but conduction is also another mode of heat transfer which would occur through solid. It needs a solid medium to occur. Convection would occur in a fluid. So, conduction and convection both need a medium but radiation needs no medium it travels through a vacuum or an empty space so the answer is d all right so question 23 which of the following foods is a false food so the answer is d pineapple so pineapple is a false food because a false fruit is a fruit which is formed from other parts of the flower aside the, the ovary you know a fruit is a fertilized or a matured one ovary of a flower so you have cashew mango purple coming from what from the ovary but pineapple is not formed from what the ovary of a flower uh, another example too is apple strawberry pear all of them are all false too because they are not formed from the ovary question 24 a solid of mass 300 gram increases in temperature by 15 degrees Celsius. Calculate the amount of heat absorbed. Given that the specific heat capacity of the solid is 2100 joules per Kelvin. So the answer is A. Now if you look at the calculation here, so uh, the formula for getting the amount of heat that was absorbed is given by H, the H representing the amount of heat, is equal to M, where M is the mass, times C. C is the specific heat capacity. Then T2 minus T1 is the temperature change, or the temperature increase. T1 represents the initial temperature. T2 is the final. So, from the question, we are told that the mass is 300 gram, which is, uh, when converted, you have to change it to kilogram. So, you change it to kilogram is 0 0.3. That the specific heat capacity is given as 2100. Then the temperature change from the question. The question says that it increased by 15 degrees Celsius. So, meaning that's the temperature change. So, that's 15 degrees Celsius. So, you just fix that into it. And then your final answer is 9450 joules, which is A. Question 25. The arm is staked in order to, the answer is to prevent pest attack. So, you know, staking is uh, a way of supporting plants with weak stems so that they can grow erect. You know, when you stake yam, you, you prevent the leaves of the yam from staying on the ground, getting exposed to pests which live in the soil. So by so doing, you prevent pest attack. Question 26. Which of the following characteristics in humans is an indication of sexual maturity? So the answer is the growth of what hairs in the pubic region. Growth of hairs in the pubic region. Question 27. If the blood group of an individual is AB, then none of the parents belong to the blood group. The answer is blood group O. We know there are four blood groups. Uh, the A, B, C, D are all for blood groups but if a person is in blood group AB there's no way any of his or her parents will belong to blood group O because if you are in blood group AB then there's the possibility that 
one of your parents is either A, then the other is B. So that comes together to give you what? Your blood group, which is AB. If you look at the example on the right, the parents are all AA and then a PB. Uh, that's that's the genotype, but it means that the both parents, uh, one parent is in blood group A, the, the other parent is in blood group B. You realize that the children would all have what? A, B, A, B, A, B. Because one is coming from the, uh, let's say, mother, and then the other one is coming from the father. But if one of the parents is in blood group O, there's no way the child would get either A or B from that parent. Because if the blood group is O, meaning there's nothing there, that's what it means. There is no A or B there. So it cannot give you AB. Blood group O can never give you blood group AB. Question 28. Which of the following computer application programs can most effectively be used to produce financial records? So the answer is C, spreadsheet. Spreadsheet is one of the common software programs which is used to, uh, to produce or process financial data. Question 29. A farmer planted 2,500 stands of maize at a rate of 2 seeds per stand. If there was 90% germination, determine the plant population. So if you look at the question carefully, the question says there were 2 seeds per stand. Now if there was 90% germination, it means that close to the 2,500 stands germinated. But you realize that it says that 2 seeds per stand. So it's going to be double the number which is close to 2,500. In this case, it is 2,250. That's the 90%. But because there are two seeds per stand, so you have to multiply that by two. And that gives you 4,500. So that will be the plant population. So per stand, like for a stand or at a particular stand, you are going to have two maize plants. Not just a single maize. You are going to have two maize plants there. So that would give you the answer. So the answer is C. Question 30. Which of the following substances is used to disinfect fresh wounds? So the answer is D. Iodine tincture. Iodine tincture happens to be one of the substances which is used to disinfect fresh wounds. Question 31. A farm gate price refers to the, the answer S C. Price of a farm produce sold on the farm. Question 32. The excretory products of plants include? So the answer is D. Gum, latex, and then excess salt. Now, ammonia and the urea are not produced by plant. They are rather produced by animals. So that's why the answer is D. Question 33. Which of the following substances is not a hydrocarbon? The answer is B. Ethanol. Because... A hydrocarbon is a substance which contains only carbon and hydrogen. But ethanol happens to be made up of what? Carbon, hydrogen, and then oxygen. So it makes ethanol not a hydrocarbon. So that's why the answer is B. Question 34. Early parenthood may be brought about by... So the answer is C. Lack of moral training. It cannot be brought out, uh, brought about by a good financial standing of parents. Uh, you have rich parents uh, whose what would uh, end up in teenage pregnancy and all that. So the fact that your father or your mother is rich doesn't mean that it's, it has nothing to do. So it's lack of moral training uh, as well as discipline. And question 35, which of the following crops belong to the same group? So realize that the answer is C, granite and soya bean. And they are what legumes. They are legumes. That's why uh, we are saying that. Uh, that's the answer because they are all legumes. Guinea corn and granuts are not in the same. Sweet potato and soya bean, coconut and yam, cocoa yam are not in the same. So the answer is C. Question thirty six. Which of the following activities is a reflex action? So the answer is D. Sneezing. Now, a reflex action is an automatic what, response, response to a situation. For example, when you touch a hot object, you what? You automatically what? Withdraw your finger or your hand. 
it's not voluntary it's just something which happens sneezing is also a reflex as you go it just happens you don't do it voluntarily so the answer is d question 37 the main source of vitamins for free range domestic fowl is c which is the leaves leaves are a great source of vitamins for these domestic fowls question 38 which of the following group of substances is made up of elements only so the answer is a which is argon magnesium and then phosphorus all these three are elements if you look at the b there is air there air is not an element if you look at c there's bronze there which is an alloy not an element if you look at the d water is also there which is a compound question 39 it is important to consider rh what you call resource factor during marriages because it may c result in stillbirth that's the baby dying during pregnancy or during birth so it's very important aside the sickle cell disease uh, there's the need for you to consider resource factor also during the choosing of your spouse for marriage because it could also result in on the child dying during birth question 40 Hot water of mass 5 grams at a temperature of 80 degrees Celsius is mixed with some cold water at a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. If the final temperature of the mixture is 30 degrees Celsius, determine the mass of the cold water. So the answer is 50 grams, but let's look at how we arrived at the answer 50 grams. So one of the formula or uh, law that would work with is the fact that in a system heat is not what uh, uh, heat is conserved it means that if one part of a system loses heat the other side will gain that same heat so if you mix hot water and then cold water the hot water will lose its heat but that heat wouldn't go anywhere to be gained by hot the cold water so in actual sense it's been conserved that's why we are saying the heat lost by hot water plus heat gained by cold water is equal to zero. Or oh, another way of writing this formula is to say that heat lost by hot water is equal to heat gained by cold water. So you can just put the equal to sign in between the heat lost by hot water and then heat gained by cold water. Only that one would have the negative sign showing that energy has been lost. So heat loss by hot water is equal to, you know, when it comes to measuring the amount or calculating for the amount of heat, we use the formula mass times specific heat capacity times the temperature change, which is M times C times the temperature change. So in this case, we have MC. I think we did this in one of the questions previously. So for us to know the heat which was lost by the hot water, we need to know the mass of the hot water we need to know its specific heat capacity we need to know the temperature change we need to know the temperature change how hot was it at first then how what was the temperature finally so that's what we did and then we had five times c then uh, the temperature change so we'd have five c by this you know the hot water was at first at 80 degrees celsius that's it initial that's the t1 then it came to the final which is 30 which is the final temperature of the mixture so you subtract that you get minus 50 you multiply that by the 5c you know the c was not given so we just maintain it then we leave it at this stage then we go and calculate the heat that was gained by the cold water we use the same formula the mass of the cold water is known so that's what you are finding so you just maintain then the specific heat capacity also we maintain it then the temperature change is given we multiply that to have 5 mc so we use the law or this formula about here now to write an equation so we have this 5 c times negative 50 here plus this 5 mc giving you zero remember i told you another way you can write it 
S to just say that he's lost by water. Is he called to the heat gate by the cold water? So that would have been 5C times 50 is equal to 5MC. So realize that is the same thing that we have gotten over here. So you would then do the equation. This is more of mass. So 5MC is equal to 250C. Now the C will cancel out. That's why you don't see it here again. Now we'd have 5M is equal to 250. Then you calculate for M. M will give you 50 grams. 